Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So finally we got some new ESCs that are out so we can get testing. Now this is a Hack RC BL Heli 32 ESC rated 225S in 35 amps. And uh, we are going to be noise testing it today. And uh, I think you might want to stick around for this because um yeah, it was, it was yeah, we'll just we'll get into that right now. So this is like I mentioned, Hack RC is usually hit and miss products and um sometimes they do some good stuff, sometimes they just don't. It's pretty small compared to other 35 amp ESCs as you can tell right here. So it will reduce some weight. The gauge this it's running I think 16 or 18 gauge wire here. So yeah, it's running 18 gauge wire for the power, the ESC power, and everything here seems to be silicone, so that's very good. Or semi-silicone. These two are semi-silicone. Does it have telemetry? Yes, it does, right there. So let's just remove this, take a quick look before we stick it on the bench and start testing. I know most of you want me to make my videos as fast as possible and to reduce time as much as possible. That's what I'm doing here. So we got four caps and we got five caps on the bottom. That's nine total capacitors. So it seems like it's good filtration. They're pretty mid, mid, mid sized caps here. So that's pretty nice to see. They got pretty small MOSFETs there. That's how they're able to reduce the size of this guy here. Um, so d you know, don't put them with like some 2507 motors. Uh, I, at least I wouldn't. I don't think you should do that really. I think you probably overheat these MOSFETs, but I'm not saying this is a bad one. I'm just saying like 25XX motor. So we do have a nice fat heat sink right there. So that's also very nice to see. And as we can see, the quality check has passed. Let's just remove this and take a look here. And um, yeah, let's see. We got the microcontroller units. We got some, oh, we got a nice tantalum capacitor right there. And um, overall, it has almost everything except the current sensor, uh, the shunt resistor. But if it performs good for such a good price, I don't see why not and it's pretty tiny too so enough talking and let's jump to the testing hi guys and we are finished with the testing and what i want to tell you is i think we just found the all new best budget esc now why would i say that it looks exactly like the emacs formula noise testing on the bottom side so before we begin let's talk about what these pictures mean first of all on the left side we have the Emacs formula. I'm gonna compare other ESCs right now, just give me a moment. And on the right side we have the Hack RC BL Heli 32, this new one with the LED and all that kinds of good things, except the current sensor, but it's okay. I'll allow that to pass because it's a good price and it performed pretty damn good for a cheap ESC. And you'll see that right now. So uh, the, this first graph right here uh, simulates this is 10% throttle noise, 25. 50%, 75% throttle, and 100% throttle noise on all the graphs here. Bottom is a custom injected noise script to kind of make the motor do in, you know, just hardcore maneuvers to generate as much noise possible to push into the system so we get a nice idea of how it would perform in a real world scenario, even though I push it like maybe three times harder than it would be pushed inside the real world in, in real life. So take that into consideration also, just so it can give us a nice, you know, amplified result here. And uh, if an ESC blows up, then it's not really worth it to buy if, if, if it blows up through one of these tests, just to let you know. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look here. Now, as you can tell, it's already looking pretty damn good compared to the Emacs formula on the throttle noise level. They're about the same, nothing too bad. But as you can tell, it's more, it's much cleaner. It sounded very smooth. I really heard it in the motor. It was very smooth. It, it, it sounded like it had a low ESR capacitor on board because motors could sound like absolutely, it's like you put a silencer on a motor. It's, it's crazy. Some of you have heard this when you've switched from a crappy AC to Tico 32. I've had people write me that they know what I mean now. And someday, some of you might know, if you've always had good ESCs, then you'll never know how a shitty ESC sounds like anyways. All right, so let's just take a look here. So this is a pretty cheap ESC. It's like 12 bucks, which is pretty insane. Now, you know, I was just going over the data. I'll check this out. The Dow RC engine, okay? The Dow RC 4-in-1 ESC engine, that expensive-ass good 4-in-1 ESC. Now, uh, let's take a look at its throttle noise level. Look at that. That That's, that, that's pretty good. This is the Dow RC engine. Now, now let, me explain, let me put something else into perspective here. This Dal RC 4 in 1 ESC engine was using all of its capacitors, all of its filtration on one motor. Which is, you know, you can kind of tell what, where I'm going at with this. So this is, this is very good. That's just one little sign right here. What else do we have? The T-Rex, uh, the HLRC T-Rex ESC, that expensive one that just came out right now. Uh, let's take a look here. Here it is. And 
You see that? That's that's like that's like oh, that's like a ten dollar difference. Look how good that is. That's amazing. Okay, but now we're only looking at throttle noise levels. Now let's just take a look at the noise levels themselves, which are down here. So like I mentioned, on the right side we have that new hack RC BL Heli 32, and like I mentioned, usually their products are hit and miss, and this is I think is going to be a hit. It's going to be pretty good. Um, so let's take a look here. We had a 27 volt voltage spike, which is very good. Voltage drop. 8.4 volts not bad at all so that's very good to see and don't forget this is like the 11 12 dollar esc range escs at the current moment of time which is pretty damn insane um compared to some 50 ones and 20 dollar ones that i've been testing now what i'm going to do also is there was another expensive esc which was around 18 bucks that we just tested i don't know which test was it this one the one before it uh no actually i'm gonna keep that one because i'm not sure yet but let's go ahead and take a look at the HGLRC custom noise compared to this okay you know it's noticeably that the Dell RC is noticeably better obviously but there is not much of a difference it's it's this is what I'm trying to say this is very good this is very, here's an here's an ESC in the same class price category as this hack RC ESC let's see it's noise do you see what I mean now this one is in the same, even a little bit probably more expensive. This is that no-name one that we've tested. Can, can you get an idea of, of how good this is? I'm very surprised. And I also took another extra measurement just to show you something here. So check this out. I don't really do this much unless because I really wanted to see. As you can tell, these spikes, it wasn't there. Uh, how can I say this? It's, it's not. Um, it wasn't. It's good. That's what I'm trying to say. It's very difficult to kind of make this as easy as possible to understand. But it's it's pretty clean, you know. The, the red part is where the voltage was at the most, and you know as it gets brighter to the purple, that's where it was the least. So as you can sell, see here, it was pretty static. It's, it's 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 very nice. It's very clean. It's I can hear it. It's very good. Uh, you could totally see that there. If I zoomed in there and took another shot, you probably see a nice little uh, sine wave going on, which is what you should see actually. Um, the filtration, you could kind of see how it's buffed out. It feels like it, it, like, I don't know, like blurred out. Blurred out because the capacitor is kind of just smoothing that out on there. Uh, this ESC seems to be well built, but this is only bench testing, not real world testing. This only gives us a great idea of what to be expected. Now, this testing never failed me before ever for almost every single ESC I've ever tested, ever. And um, I don't think it'll fail here, but just to tell you that if you purchased one or you're looking for a good ESC to have some good performance, I really do believe this is going to be the one for you. And I'm immediately going to build this. I'm going to put on the ESC testing quad and I'm going to fly. However, I need to wait for a GoPro because I lost my motor testing quad, which has the new T motors on there. I was very upset the other day. So I need to go get a GoPro and uh, do this. I don't want to just do through uh, DVR footage right now. So I'm waiting for a GoPro to come in. Um, but as you can tell, this hack RC is pretty damn insane for the price. When I'm saying it's the best ESC in the world, I'm telling you it's the best budget ESC currently I've tested. And uh, I'm very satisfied and pleased with it. And especially the motor sounded very smooth. Now imagine putting a low ESR capacitor. You get yourself a Tico 32. <laughs> for what? What is it? Like 10 cents? 20 cents? Cap on each? Just put like a little tiny 220 microfad low ESR capacitor. Maybe a Rubicon or a Panasonic on each of them. You got yourself a Tico 32 flying for absolutely cheap. So uh, this is a very good one. And finally, I can recommend a budget good ESC because everything else has just been absolutely not very well. And another important thing, if you don't have time to watch all the videos and if you don't remember and if you haven't seen all my ESC videos and you're curious what is the best components, they will be added. I'll have a special page in the application, which I'll also release ESC testing even sometimes before I release the video. And I'll give you the top and why I believe the top budget ESCs and then the top expensive ESCs and some of the awesome flight controllers I've used and all that kind of crazy good stuff uh, will be there. Something why should you use a low ESR capacitor instead of an LC filter? Some little bits of information. It's not going to make huge articles make you read for five hours. I, I hate that, you know? Just like a little paragraph that just summarizes a bunch of data and shows you a bunch of nice pictures, kind of gets you the idea. So that is the goal of it to get news awesome deals plus i sell my stuff for absolutely cheap there and i'm working on getting coupons and i am getting the coupons for awesome stuff to buy really for very cheap from from being good from gearbest uh, get fpv i'm still in contact with them hopefully 
and um yeah and akk akk i think akk is going to be the number one um vtx is out there very soon i'll be doing noise testing on their new ones because they do have voltage regulators on board so that's going to be pretty interesting so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bar so you don't miss out because there's a lot of awesome new things coming out and i'm currently working on and planning and it's just going to be awesome so yeah that's it guys so one more thing please consider joining my patreon it really supports the channel it helps them bring these components in create unbiased reviews and just let the data speak for itself and i just share in my opinion and my thoughts on what i see and what i've seen and uh, it really supports the channel plus you also have a great chance of getting awesome giveaways and um yeah that's it so i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i uh, will see you next time see you guys take care